In my medicine cabinet, the winter fly has died of old age. Well, here I am, 2 p.m. What day is it? The tree looks like a dog barking at heaven. Prayer beads on the holy book. My knees are cold. In the morning frost, the cats step slowly. No telegram today, only more leaves fell. The castle of the Gandharvas is full of aging young couples. Early morning yellow flowers, thinking about the drunkards of Mexico. The national scene, late afternoon sun in those trees. Nightfall, boy smashing dandelions with a stick. Holding up my purring cat to the moon, I sighed. August moon. Oh, I got a boil on my thigh. Drunk as a hoot owl, writing letters by thunderstorm. All day long, wearing a hat that wasn't on my head. Beautiful young girls running up the library steps with shorts on. Crossing the football field, coming home from work, the lonely businessman. Useless, useless, heavy rain driving into the sea. After the shower, among the drenched roses, 
the bird thrashing in the bath. <laughs> The little worm lowers itself from the roof by a self-shat thread. Snap your finger. Stop the world. Rain falls harder. Nightfall, too dark to read the page, too cold. In my medicine cabinet, the winter fly has died of old age. Following each other, my cats stop when it thunders. Spring evening, the two 18-year-old sisters. The postman is late. The toilet window is shining. <laughs> Wash hung out by moonlight, Friday night in May. <laughs> Empty baseball field, a robin hops along the bench. Blackbird. No! Bluebird! Branch. Still jumping. My rumpled couch. The lady's voice next door. The bottoms of my shoes are clean from walking in the rain. B, why are you staring at me? I'm not a flower. <laughs> The barn swimming in a sea of wind-blown leaves. Glowworm sleeping on this flower. Your light's on. Spring night, a leaf falling from my chimney.
Hard hearted old farmer. All right, I, I just have to do this, Jack. One, two, oh, four, six. Hard hearted farmer. Old farmer. Old farmer. Hard hearted old farmer. What did I tell you about him? Oh, I already told you about him. You know all about it already. Okay. You're too drunk to make this bit. Al, come on. <laughs> You're too drunk. All right, let's go. I can see you now. You're drunk as me. <laughs> You're drunk. Hard to lean. Okay, go. Yes, a hard hearted old farmer. Hiding his wine in the cellar In New England When he goes out He wears earmuffs He has a double bitted axe Sharp enough to shave chick Oh baby He's hard As can be His people, his people are buried in the same cemetery which is located under the doorstep where the boy couldn't get through from the tomb. I can see the blank wall. I can see the silhouette in the window. He's talking. I'm not interested in what he's talking about. I'm only interested in the fact that it's the last hotel. The last hotel. Ghosts in my bed. Goats are bled. The last hotel. Day by day, haggard and dull signs on the sheen of this skin, the sheath of proud self cracks, the sword rusts, the swordsman falls sighing in the fault sour sea, the world and everything in it one vast body seen and hassled by sentient embodied thinking bearers of mind which is the manifestation of the tranquil and eternal radiant bright essence mind of perfect purity beyond all body neither light nor eyes alone reveal moveless mind sees motion Yen, shape, shadow, clock. Changeless mind sees change. Reflections, particles of dust. Oh, it's a return to the original mind. Return those shoes to the shoemaker. Return this hand to my father. This pillow to the pillow maker. 
those slippers to the shop. And that wainscot to the carpenter. But my mind, my tranquil and eternal mind, returneth to whom? I would like them to play behind me while I'm reading. Oh, sure. Can, they, can you hear me while, while they're playing? I see the backs of old men rolling slowly into black stores. Line faced, mustached black men with army weathered brown hats stomp on by with bags of burlap and rue, talking to secret companions with long hair in the sidewalk on Third Street. San Francisco, with the rain of exhaust clicking in the mist you see in black store doors, petting trucks, plopping, <laughs> vastly city. Third Street, market to lease. Has a washed down tile entrance, once white, now caked with gum, of a hundred thousand feet of passers who didn't go straight on, bending to flap the time pap page on back, with smoke emanating from their noses, but slowly, like old lantern jawed junkmen, hurrying with a lump, wondrous potato bag to the avenues of sunshine, came bending the spit and shuffled a while there. The beat-up tenement on 3rd and Harrison has Belfast painted black on yellow on the side. The old Frisco wood is shown with weather-beaten rain boards and a washed-out blue bottle once painted for wild commercial reasons by an excited Seltzerite. As firemen came last afternoon and raised the ladder to a fruitless fire that was not there. So is Belfast singing in this time when brands forgotten, taste washed in, Rain, the gullies broadened, everybody gone. The acrobats of the tenement who dug Belfast, divers all, and the divers all dove. Ah, little girls make shadows on the sidewalk, shorter than the shadow of death in this town. girls in red coats with flat white out shoes, harried Mexican laborers become respectable in San Francisco, carrying newspapers of culture burden and packages of need, walk sadly reluctant to work in dawn, stalking with not cat in the feel of their stride, touching to hide the sidewalk, black shiny last night polished shoes hidden slippery with hard slicky heels to slide and fall, but what can I? Thank <laughs> you. 
Dumb kids with thick lips and black skin carry paper bags meaninglessly. Don't bother the cat. His mother yelled at him yesterday, and now he goes to work down Third Street in the milky dawn, piano rolling over the hill to the tune of the English fifers and some white of mine. Brick a brack, pliers on your back, mick mack, kidneys in your back, bald boo, oranges and you, lick lock, the red faced cock. Oi, yow. He yawns to la la la. Me loom. The weary gray hat, peacoat, exhaler, marining, meekly, hands a poop a pocket, face lips. Oh, mosey. The long, fat, yellow eternity cream of the Third Street bus roof, swimming like a monosyllabic, armored mosasaur, swimming in my primordial window pane of pain. <laughs> Alas, the kid is worried. His pops astray. What to say to well-dressed ambassadors from death's truth, pimp-like, rich in the morning, slick, or sad white caps of snowy seamen in San Francisco gray streets, arm waving to walk the Harrison Cross and earn later sunset purple. Just dig that sad old bum. No money. Presuming to hit the store and buy his cube of oleo for eight cents. So in cheap rooms at AM 3:30, he can cough and groan in a white tile sink by his bed, which is used to run water in and stagger to in the reel of wake up middle of the night flop house nightmares. His death no blacker than mine. His toast just as well buttered and on one side. There's no telling what's on the mind of the bony character in plaid work coat and glasses, carrying lunch, stalking and bouncing slowly to his job. Or the beauteous Indian girl hurrying stately into Marathon Grocery, run by Greeks, to buy bananas for her love night. What's she thinking? Her lips are like cherries. Her cheeks just purse them out. All the more to kiss them and suck their juices out. A young woman flees an old man, Mohammedan prophesy, and she got avocados anyway. The furtive girl looks over her shoulder while unlocking the door of the tenement of her man, who, with big Negro Arkansas or East Texas oil fields, Harry Truman hats, been standing there on the street all day. Waiting for the cold girl, bending in thin coat in the wind. And Sunday afternoon drizzle. Step on it, get some bread. But Papa's got to get some sleep tonight, and the Chinaman's on his bed. No hunger and no whittles neither, dearie. Said the crone to Edwin Drood. Okay. There'll be an answer. Forthcoming. When the morning wind. Ceases shaking, the man's collar. When there's no starch in it, an Acme beer runs flowing into dry gray hats. When deary the pennies in the palm multiply as you watch. <laughs> Whistlers stop scowling, smokers stop sighing, watches stop looking, 
and women stop walking and worrying coats. When gray beards grow no more and pain don't take you by surprise and bedposts creak in rhythm not at morn and dry man's bones are not pushed by angry meaning pelvic propelled legs of reason to a place you hate. Then I'll go lay my crowned body on the heads of three men hurrying and laughing in the wrong direction, my idol. is an automaton sounding like a machine through the stop keyhole. Young men go fast and old men. Old men are passionately breathless. Young men breathe inwardly. Young men and old women wait or wail. Cause there was a sound of slapping when the angel stole come and the angel that had lost lay back satisfied. Hungry, adult, red face with tight clutch, traditional time, briefcase in his paw, prowls placking the pavement to his office girl's rumpled skirt at five. Five o'clock shadows. Angrily, I must insist, that phony Negro sea captain with a battered coat who looks like Charlie Chaplin in a movie about now, filmed in the air by crews of raving, rabid angels drooling happily among the funny, fat cherubim, leading that serious, hard-jawed, sincere Negro stud in at morn for a round of crimes, is Lucifer the Fraud. Besides, little girls worry too much, but no one will hurt them except the beast whom they'd knife in another life in the as well east as west of Bethlehem and do of it much. Rhetorical Third Street, grasping at racket groans and stinky. I have no time to dally hassle in your heart's house. It's too gray, I'm too cold. I wanna go to Golden. That's my home. I came a wearying from Eastern Hills. Yonder Nabatake Recessit. The eastward to Aurora Rose. Somewhere west of Idalia. Or east of Russet Falls, one. Lost a black haired woman with thin feet and red bag hanging. Used to walk down Arapahoe Street in Denver, make all the cabbies cry. And drugstore ponies eating pool and rim sacks sob. To see so lovely all the time and all so nice and young. Sure, pause Ford got lost in the depression. He drove over the divide and forgot to cleave the road, instead put atomic energy in his machine and flew to find the gory clouds of rocky torment far away. And they fished him out of Miner's Creek, more dead than Henry, and a whole lot fonder, partner. Clack of the wheels, my freight train blues. Third Street I seed and knowed, and under ramps I writ the poems of the punk who met the Fagin who told him punk when walking with me to roll a sleeping drunk. Don't wish you was back at home in your mother's parlor and when the cops come a-blastin' with loaded 45s. Don't ask for gold or silver for my purse. It's milk and hassle will be strewn and scattered in the sand by an old bean can and dried up kegs with a sat and jot on. Roll my bones in the mortuary, my terms and deeds of mortgagery and death and taxes all wrapped up. 